Hey guys, how's it going? Marley here. Um, so for this third episode, I wanted to talk about the power of now. Um, the reason why I want to make an entire episode about the power of the present moment and the power that one day has over your life is because I think that people severely underestimate uh, how much they can affect their life or change their life within the span of 24 hours. But think about it really clearly. 24 hours is enough to ruin your life. In 24 hours, you can get pregnant, you can kill someone, you can get into a mortal car accident, you can steal, you can commit a crime, you can do something so horrible that it would ruin your life for the rest of your life. So with that theory, um, if you reverse it, um, or as Dan Coe likes to say, reverse entropy, you can change your life positively within 24 hours using the same premise. And what do I mean by that? I mean that if you're an addict, you can check yourself into rehab. If you're uh, severely in debt, maybe you can land a job. You get the idea. Um, so in this, uh, in this episode, I wanted to give some actual, actionable steps and I wanted to help you guys frame this uh, better in your mind. I wanted to give perspective on this. We live today in a society where the new gold mine is digital content. Uh, people that are under the age of 40, um, anyone 18 to like 35, 37 maybe, uh, we have this incredible opportunity that social media offers us. Um, the generation after us, our parents, our grandparents, they were able to thrive in the world and create wealth for themselves in a way that we can't do today because they had real estate and they had the stock market and they had uh, and they grew up during a time when factories and factory work and labor work was highly priced and inflation rates were lower. So whereas they were able to secure a factory job or a job at a corporation that makes you know, airplanes, for example, and they were able to cash in on a good 401k, they were able to invest in a healthy stock portfolio, invest in real estate. Um, that's something that uh, people from the ages of 18 to 35, it's not as easy for us to do. We have um, a lot of things against us and a lot of moving parts. And this primarily isn't due to to inflation and to the importance that the internet and technology plays today in our lives. The wages are increasingly disproportionate uh, with a very small percentage of people earning a very, very large amount of money because of their technological uh, innovations, so to speak. Um, however, uh, digital access to the internet is 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 for everybody so let's talk about that let's talk about the positives of it the positives are that you can become a millionaire if you just have access to the internet now disclaimer i am not a millionaire but i am somebody who is in route to her own financial independence which means that i don't plan on working for a corporation for 20 years of my life, the best years of my life, and having a salary that caps me at like 100K and takes away half of that. That's not what I plan to do. Um, like Dan Coe says, I do see jobs as a stepping stone. And especially if you're on the younger side, you will benefit from the mentorship and the accolades that you're gonna gain if you work in a corporate setting for at least a couple of years. But I do uh, want to put out there that I'm somebody who, in addition to having a day job or a corporate job, if I may, I'm going to be somebody who has uh, multiple sources of income, either through my acting, either through my writing of books, um, and in the future, uh, product launches, courses, and meditations, and who knows, maybe even apps or collaborations and into technology. And entertainment so um, so that's something that I'm that I'm gonna do personally 
Um, as it relates to you, um, I want you to take in what I said about how you're not actually at a disadvantage because if you learn how to use the internet in your favor, even in small ways, you can get ahead so much. Um, it doesn't matter what anybody has told you. It doesn't matter if they told you that you're too young, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too skinny, you're too white, you're too black. Like, it doesn't matter what they told you. Um, you can make anything you want happen for you. And that's because the internet, through the internet, you're able to access information. You're, you have YouTube, which I consider to be an educational platform, personally. Every time I want to find out about a new topic and whether it's on the digital market marketing spectrum or on the acting spectrum or on the technology spectrum which are things that are of my interest i can just go on google and study for hours free content that wouldn't have been available to me if we didn't have the internet because i would have had to go to a library and then somebody else would have taken the books and i wouldn't have the books or who knows maybe i wouldn't even have a library nearby that offered such things. The internet also allows you to make businesses for very little money, if, if not zero dollars. For example, if you're a photographer, um, you can set up a website for less than, for $20 a year. And that's how you can funnel in your clients. And you can use free platforms like Instagram, YouTube, X, Threads, even dating apps to promote your businesses and you can charge and you can put the price that you want on your services. And that's just one example. Another example is a copywriter. If you're a single mother of two and you know your ABCs, you can go on websites like Fiverr and Upwork and set up a profile and you can announce that you are now a copywriter for corporations on your Instagram, on your YouTube, on your X, on your threads, on your website. You don't even need a website, to be honest. And you can take a few clients, uh, you know, you can say, oh, I'll write nice articles for you for, let's say, 50 bucks. And then once you get a couple of clients, which you will, because Fiverr is a very, very, very popular website, you eventually can start building a small portfolio and then use that portfolio to go on LinkedIn, go to the job section or on indeed.com or ZipRecruiter and present yourself as a professional copywriter. Even if you're a single mother of two who never was able to go to college, who just has a GED. That's the power of the internet. Um, expanding on that idea, in a few years, you could have your own digital marketing agency where you specialize in copywriting or ads or a little bit of graphic design if that's something you wanted to do. So that's uh, idea number two. And, um, and there are endless of YouTube channels that I think Sebastian, Sebastian Gregorino is one of them. He's this little, he's this little dude that is like a tech genius and he sits there in front of the computer and he gives people little business ideas for, um, he's more techie. So you, you have to be a little techie and watch him for a few hours to understand what he's talking about. But I, I understand what he's talking about and he, he comes up with little tools for ads and, um, and SAS and um, you can get a lot of business ideas from him. Dan Ko is also another guy that's good on the internet. He offers a lot of free courses and, and yeah. Um, also you can get monetized on YouTube. Uh, YouTube pays people eventually and once they become monetized. And I heard that uh, that's the journey I'm going on right now. I'm seeking to get monetized on YouTube, so wish me luck for that. But personally, if you yourself wanted to go on YouTube, you could make your YouTube page and figure out what content you wanna post weekly and commit to a schedule. You could post once a week, you could post twice a week. Um, you should at least post uh, four times a month if you want to gain a following and then you can put out a little newsletter either on blogs that are free like medium.com which is what I use and I'll link it below um, or you could set up a website on Wix or Squarespace for approximately 20 to 40 dollars a year if you're feeling a little fancier 
Um, if you're somebody who's a contractor or you're somebody who uh, would like to offer services as a contractor of any kind, I would recommend, I recommend that. Um, I personally don't have a personal website right now because I am an actress and I feel that if I had a personal website, it would be as a producer, but I'm not a producer yet. I'm still at the production assistant, production coordinator level in my career. So maybe when I transition into that, I will, or maybe I won't, maybe I'll just post some of my projects that I have tonight. You guys inspired me. But that's what I'm trying to get at, guys. Where No matter where you are in life, like no matter what problem you have, if you have I don't know, relationship problems. If you haven't had a girlfriend or a boyfriend in years and you really want one, there's YouTube channels online about relationship coaching and guidance. There's uh, people who are licensed psychiatrists or people who are licensed relationship experts. There's also manifestation coaches that can help you manifest your ideal partner. If you're overweight and uh, for example, you're a woman, there's woman trainers that um, make diets that are specialized for women on their YouTube and they're easy to follow um, If you suffer from OCD or something like I said watch my video on OCD and I'm gonna upload meditations pretty soon uh, to see if um, if you guys are responsive to that uh, but yeah, don't hold yourself back the internet is a great tool to to move your life forward within less than 24 hours so um i challenge you oh wow nobody told me how horrible this hair looked i challenge you guys to um in the comments below comment the the one thing you could do today before the day ends to change your life and don't put it for tomorrow don't put it for the morning because you're gonna forget change the habit of being yourself as dr joe dispenza says Write down one thing right now on a piece of paper and in the comments about what you could do to change your life and let me know. I'll let you guys know mine. The thing I'm going to do today to change my life is finish a pitch deck because I, like I said, I'm developing a feature film and I'm very excited about it. And this pitch deck is something that I've been putting off for weeks. And the more I put it off, the weaker I felt and the less confident I felt in myself until I was told to just do it and to go and take meetings with directors and producers and see what comes of it. So that for sure can change my life, plus a walk. So what about you guys? What are you guys gonna do to change your life today? I'd be excited to hear. Uh, I'll come back with episode four. I have a real treat for you guys. And um, thank you again. Love you guys. Bye.